The National Commission for Women, in collaboration with the Meghalaya State Women Commission, today held a regional level consultation on combating human trafficking in northeastern region at the Northeastern Council Auditorium in Shillong. The consultation was held with the objective to improve the effectiveness in tackling cases of human trafficking, raising awareness among women and girls, capacity building and training of anti-trafficking units, and to strengthen and sensitize law enforcement machineries. Chairperson of the National Commission for Women, Rekha Sharma, Chairperson of the Meghalaya State Women Commission, Pidalia Toy, among others, spoke at the inaugural session. We have to talk about the rehabilitation uh, of the uh, women who come back because many a times we have seen though traffickers are not being, uh, very rarely we, we can uh, catch them, but we get the daughters and our uh, girls back in the, these states, but are you able to rehabilitate them properly? Sometimes they go back to the system because we are not being able to handle them properly. We don't have uh, sources to uh, rehabilitate them. So these states also have to think how we can rehabilitate them properly. And for that, again, the commissions and NEC can work together on this, especially NEC because they have many resources financial resources you have and uh, if need be NCW is always there. Uh, firstly, as I said, creating job opportunity is one thing. Uh, State Commission can also play a big role where the sensitization of schools and colleges. Because I think unless we sensitize girls from the schools and colleges, we will not be able to handle this situation. and. Uh, the commission can play, all the commissions can uh, play a big role in that. The issue of human trafficking affects all the states in the Northeast region. And it is important to note that Meghalaya is the only state in India that still practices a matrilineal system where women carry the responsibility of perpetuating the lineage of the clan and the society as a whole. Thank you so much, Madam, once again, for choosing to hold this seminar here in what I might say, the capital of a matrilineal system. The inaugural session was followed by technical sessions. Because social media is one platform that is here to stay. It's here to connect people. But how do we really bring that platform to be much more safe? On online safety is one of the way forward that this meeting will have to look at convergence and partnerships, because that's an important part of it. The other part is cybercrime, as we find today, the number of cases Normally, you would register cases which are on fraud, deceptions, you know, people being hooked and on, on, on laundering and so on. But cybercrime and anti-human tracking unit needs to have a communication now. Because anti-human tracking unit emerged as a journey. And I think we have uh, somebody who emerged in that journey, Mr. P.M. Nair, and our journey that started from the Northeast. Today, we have anti-human tracking unit in the National Commission for Women, which is bringing all the anti-human tracking unit together. So we need to see the role of all the anti-human tracking units, how they can work together to facilitate this action that is so important when we are talking about online safety. We cannot work in isolation. I think my own journey itself, I think we had, when we started talking about the problems 23 years ago, this question comes up, our people are not vulnerable to human trafficking. But today, all of us are vulnerable in some way or the other. Our, our, you know, our children are vulnerable to human trafficking. So we need to see a way out that how we can take it forward.